Hi, I'm Alan Holbrook. I'm Justin Smith. Today we're going to talk about how to safely open two different styles of bandsaw blades that you would get from the MK Morris company. But uh, safety first, right? We need PPE, gloves, and glasses. So when you're opening a three-coiled bandsaw blade, it's always important to wear your gloves. Um, the teeth could be exposed. Some of our blades come without tooth capping. So making sure that you have your gloves on is very important. When you're opening the blade, you're looking for what I refer to as the loose loop. It's the loop that kind of hangs out in the middle on its own. You can see it right there. You're gonna take that in your other hand, so you've got a little bit of a triangle like this. And then you're gonna let go of your X while firmly holding the other side. The blade will pop open. Keeping it kind of away from your body, grab both sides and the blade opens up. To fold it, you would do that in reverse order, sort of. You hold your hands kind of wide like this, and in kind of a rainbow sweep, you kind of let the blade go underneath and you bring it together like that. The reason we don't recommend opening a bandsaw blade like this is because it will damage the back edge or the tooth potentially. Here's a photo of a tooth that's been damaged from improper opening. I'm going to show you how to open up a pretzel bandsaw blade. First, you want to step inside and make sure you have some sort of a cutting tool, a knife. I have some uh, clippers here. So you want to put your feet in here and kind of sandwich it in. And I just kind of go around and cut the ties. Now from here, I'm just going to open my feet up and let it kind of open up on its own. We recommend keeping the tooth capping on until it's on the machine, and also while doing this, keeping the teeth facing up. Thank you for watching this episode of Tech Time. For additional helpful information, follow us on YouTube or visit our website at mkmorse.com.